Hi, how you doing? It's Jeff Sinker from Scout Guitar Lessons Online.com. Great to see you all again. I hope you're doing really, really well. I know I am. Today's lesson, we're going to do two songs. How cool is that? We are going to be doing Hellion and Electric Eye, both by Judas Priest, and I'm sure you're aware of that. And I'm sure you've just realized I've just played Hellion at the beginning. We are going to look at all of the rhythm guitar parts for both of these songs. You know, I'm going to break them down, explain them part by part for you. If this is the first time you visited this site, um, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it that much, then I'm sure you're going to want to click on that subscribe button, hit that bell, and that way you're going to be notified whenever I post any new lessons to my channel. And... Uh, it's getting bigger all the time. I really do appreciate all of you subscribers, and I really do enjoy reading all your comments. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. Let's get into this. Let me show you how to play both songs by Judas Priest. So you know, don't go away. Preview. Let's get straight into the Hellion and it opens up with this phrase. I'm just going to play that first part through. Okay, so we start off on the D string. We're going to play nine on the D. Cross over to the B string and we are doing eight to seven. Now on the seven, you're gonna hold that and just gonna put a slight bend. Just, it's not a half tone bend, it's a quarter tone bend, if anything, just a little bend. Cross over to nine on the G and that note, we're gonna put a lot of vibrato. Then we go back and we repeat. Now, I know some of you saying, oh, there's a note missing, but that's the other guitar. He's playing the bass note. He's in this E power chord. So you're coming in the B after that. So really, you hear this. So what I'm playing there is the main lead guitar. You do have that guitar in the background. Before anybody says, oh, there's a note missing. It is the second guitar that's doing that. Next part. That line, so we back on that nine again, and uh, we play that nine on the D. We cross over to the high E string, and we're playing seven to ten on the B to the eight on the B, and that's got a little bit vibrato. Then we move down to this C chord and we're playing through a C5. We're playing. Now that is going to be three on the A and then five and five on the D and the G. Cross to a D5 chord. Now it's D5 because I'm only going to be playing the uh, D string, which is the open. Two on the G and three on the high E. I'm muting the other with my third finger. Let that ring out, and then we're going to move up to five on the B, and then finishing on four on the G. So that last part. And that is the main guitar part of Hellion. Now, there are a lot of power chords being held back. You've got, uh, he does play, uh, you can hear one guitar, he's doing uh, harmonics, which I believe are on the seventh fret. And then he hits another seven on the B. From there, we are into electric eye, and it starts off with this riff. So I'll play it through, and then I'll break it down for you. <laughs> We start off on the two, so this part. So we're doing on the D string, we're doing two, four, five. And then we play three on the A, and we repeat that two, four, five on the D. Open A, 
point, same again, and then to a B, which is second fret. And then we've got four, five, four, all on a D. And then quickly up to an E5 power chord, and then we're sliding back down to that two, and repeat the whole thing again. Now, on that, then we're going to finish off on that E5 power chord. And that's where we kick off the main part of this song, the main riff that is played through the verse. So we've hit that E, and then we're into the main picking part, the main strumming. And uh, I'm just going to play this one through for you at standard speed. <laughs> So let's look at the rhythm pattern, played nice and slow. It's quite hard at the slow speed, so bear with me on this. But we are going to be playing on the upbeats to start with. So we get one E and down two. Uh, so you can just get the feel of that. One E and two. That's your first bar. The next bar goes one E and two E and three. Now that one has got this little sliding five six. Back to five again. Cross over to D five. And then up to the E five. And you get one E and two. That is your main rhythm section. Now we play that through, uh, I believe it's four times, and then we move down to an A position chord, and it's coming out of the slide part. So let me just play that little part into you, so you get the idea of how it changes down. <laughs> So we've moved down and then we go down to the A. So we get this list again, try it in slow time for you. So, so, we, so instead of doing that D5, we get which is open strings D, G, and B to an A. So instead of that, you get and that last one instead of going to the A you go to the E5 when you start all over again so now on the last part we've done the A's we've come back and we've gone To that so you're just going from that last part and let me get that last bit of the timing for you so you get that locked down so one and that's going after the free count one, two, three. And we start this part, which is leading into the chorus. So we go two, four, five, same as the intro, but we're not going to play them as quickly 
one after the other. We let the power chord ring out. So we would get C5 chord. So we're doing two, four, five on the D C power chord. We repeat A power chord. So D5 this time. Two, four, five. Back to the B there, so two, four, five, two on there, and then we get this, which is an 11 on the G and 12 on the B. A little bit of vibrato there. And then we're into the chorus section. So let me just play through the chorus section and then I'll break it down for you. Uh, quite easy this one. We're just doing a D chord to a A chord, just holding down the finger across two, two and two, D, G and B. Take all the fingers off, play an open G. And then we got an E5 to a D5. And then we repeat that D, A, G. And then we repeat the whole thing. So that is the first part of the chorus. Coming out of that section, we go back to playing the A's and we start off with an A. To a verse on that. So we just, all we're doing when we come out of them power chords, we're just going straight back into the A section of the verses. So now you go back to a verse and then you've got a chorus. Coming out of the chorus, you've got the guitar solo. When you come out of the guitar solo, you have this section, which I'm just going to play through now. <laughs> So how do we get there? Well, we're doing a seven, two down strokes. Five, two down strokes. Seven, two down strokes to the five, two down strokes to the seven. Then it is open again, five, open. Now you're going to do another open, which is, and then two down strokes. Five, six. It's quite complicated when you're doing it on the slow, but let me try and get it through at a normal, uh, kind of in between level. That's how we've got to cross over, and then from there, it's always going to be one open. On that rhythm, but it alternates. So that always stays the same. Now the first one goes, which is open. The second one does this. So we get this. So it's open to five, seven. Five and then back. And that keeps repeating backwards and forwards until we get to this part. Okay, final bit. So we're gonna start off, and the way I play this, I'm bar my hand right across that second fret, because I'm gonna pick up two on the A, and then I'm gonna do four across D and G. 
and then I'd lift it up onto the bar to the 2-2. So you get... And then I've got this where I go 2 to the 4, and then I go back to the 2. And then on this one, it's like playing a D chord, but I've got the 2 and the 3. So we get... And then I do a 2 pick on and hammer on. So we get this. And then I've got this, back to the two, two, four, and then I do a two, four, so that goes, and then repeat, and I do a four on the A, and then we're back into that riff that we've done before, which is on the D string. C power chord, A power chord, D five power chord, there's a B power chord, and then we back up on that 11 and 12 G and B, and then we go back to the chorus. From the chorus, then we go to the outro section. So let's just have a look at that. So we come out of the chorus line like this. And then we finish uh, the back end of the chorus by just playing this. So all I'm doing is a D, G, A, E. And then I do a D, G, and that's the end of the song. Well, that is all of the song covered from start to finish. Well, I hope you've enjoyed learning the song just as much as I've enjoyed teaching it. Well, I am going to let you go. And until the next time, this is Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com. Wishing you well, thanks for your company, and I know I'll see you again soon. Until then, goodbye.